Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to create, publish, and share a public calendar from your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So let's say you're in charge of making up a calendar. Maybe for your organization, your work, maybe you've got a softball team. There could be all sorts of reasons that you want to create a calendar and then publish the dates for other people to see. Now most computers and mobile devices come with a calendar app of some sort. For instance on your Mac you've got the calendar app. The same thing on your iPhone. People that use Android phones and Windows computers also have apps and a lot of people actually just use Google Calendar on the web. Well, on your Mac you can create your own iCloud calendar using the Calendar app and you could publish it there. But anybody else could actually subscribe to that if they have the right URL and then see the events on this calendar. So let's start here in the Calendar app. And I'm going to make a new calendar and it's going to give me a name here. Let's go and call this something like Team Schedule. Now I'm going to make sure it's selected so that when I add new events they will go to this calendar. So let's say I put some dates here. Let's put one here and add a whole bunch more. So you can see I've added these various events here. And I could fill them out with all sorts of things. For instance add some notes. And things like that. Now the idea is I want to publish this and then let anybody else, whether they're on a Mac or not, be able to subscribe to it so that they can see this on their calendar software. So here under Team Schedule I'm going to click on the little icon to the right. Click there and make this a public calendar. And then Done. And now if I click on it again you could see that there is a URL there. I could actually triple click it, select it, or click here and set it up to go out in an email or a text message. With it selected I'm just going to copy it right here and then hit Done. Now let's say this is somebody else and they get the message that the Team Calendar is online. They could simply go to File and use New Calendar Subscription here and paste in that URL. If they click it in a link it should do this all automatically. And you could see that long URL is there and they can hit Subscribe. And then it comes up with the information. Here's the name. They could decide whether or not to keep the alerts, keep the attachments, or remove them, and how often to refresh. Also, they could rename it and change the color to something else if they wanted to. And now you could see those things appear there in their calendar. Now, any changes that are made to the public calendar will be updated within one day since that was what they selected. But how about if somebody's using something completely different? Like for instance, somebody's just using Google Calendar. Well, in Google Calendar, if you look at the bottom here of the left bar, there's other calendars and you can click plus and subscribe to calendar. And then when you're here, click from URL. Paste it in and add calendar. It says calendar added. So now we can go back from the settings here and you'll see it down here. And actually, after it loads, takes a few seconds it comes up with the name right here. And sure enough if I switch this to Monthly here I can see those events fill in. You even can see the note is there intact. Now there's one way that Apple's really ahead of everybody else in calendars like this and that's that option to update the calendar within a given amount of time. So if you know there's a schedule that's going to change often you could say Update every hour and it will be sure to get changes soon after they happen. However Google Calendar actually doesn't have that. And people complain that sometimes it takes days for an update to show up on their calendar. And I've heard the same complaint about using Microsoft software. So perhaps the best way to use a calendar like this is when you know something is kind of certain and you can put the dates in there well in advance and it's not going to change. And if a change does happen make sure all the people involved know about the change in some other way besides just posting it to the calendar. But otherwise this is a really handy way to use nothing really but your iCloud account to create a calendar like this, maintain it on your Mac using the Calendar app, and just about everybody else no matter what they're using should be able to subscribe to it and get all the information that you put into that calendar. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.